Hello Joshers and welcome to another special episode of a very independent Jeezy Box. Today we're going to be talking about The Purge. I thought about doing these all separately out, however, then I kind of got to thinking about it and every single Purge movie is kind of the same. So the premise is one day a year, for 24 hours, you can do anything. You can do anything you want to do. It doesn't matter what the laws are. It doesn't matter. You can break them. And they do. Uh, year after year, people are using that time to really get back at people uh, for anything that they did to them. So as the series kind of goes on, you start to kind of see that this was actually set up as a sort of classist system where it was going to keep uh, the low-income uh, people, basically, as low-income people and kind of purge them out and uh, all of the elite are basically protected and taking advantage of the situation. Up until they're not, we went back with the first purge and saw how it all first started, the first time they tested it out, and kind of like then from there we get back to where we were at in the first purge movie, which is, you know, middle class family, uh, little upper class arguably under in a situation where even their home security system isn't working because of stupid choices that people are making which leads us into the new movie which is the forever purge the forever purge comes out on july 4th all new just about to come out the concept is slightly different in that instead of it being 24 hours a day that you can commit a crime basically the premise of this is that they're going to keep doing crime anyways and so that's really what that movie is going to be about which is basically just regular murder, which if you're not doing it for your country, what are you doing? As far as the Purge movies go, I enjoy them. I think they're, uh, the concept is kind of entertaining in my opinion. It's kind of an interesting kind of social uh, dilemma and we kind of get to see how that would work out ultimately for both low, low income, uh, you know, the elites, middle class. We get to see different parts of society, different parts of the country, how they're affected as the series goes on. Uh, I'd recommend checking them out, but at the end of the day, if you watch one of them, you kind of watch the rest of them, except for The Forever Purge, because The Forever Purge is just regular murder. Uh, why dress like you when you can wear me? Thank you.